One of these days I'm gonna book a flight to kick off a year that's not at the blue crack of dawn. But it's not this year. Speaking of this year, it's year two. Asia. Wake up. Let's go. We are Hannah and Trey, and welcome to our YouTube channel, Probably Lost. If you missed the last 365 days, then let us catch you up real quick. 2022 was all about Europe. We traveled to 30 different countries by planes, trains, ferries, and Flixbus, and truly had the time of our life. But now we're heading the opposite direction by taking on Asia for 2023. Okay, to give you a bit of background as to what is in store for today, we are currently in Huntsville, Alabama, where I'm from, and we have spent the last 10 days with my family and the days previously with Hannah's family up in Michigan. So today, we are finally heading back out on the road. We are on a 5 a.m. flight from here in Huntsville to Dallas, and then we'll fly American from Dallas-Fort Worth to Tokyo. They give you some information what they're gonna have to do. This is not what we wanted, but it's what's happening. Trey was right. We're getting off the plane. It's gonna be a long day. This is gonna be like 13 hours. And we're gonna take you along the whole way as we normally do and uh, see if we manage to keep our sanity in the meantime. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> We booked an exit row. The middle rest, armrest thing does not come up because it's a big solid thing. But uh, we got more leg room. This is gonna be a thing for the majority of the flight. So excited for it. American Eagle Flight 5774 en route to Dallas-Fort Worth. No GoPro because we're in the exit row. <laughs> Thankfully though, it's like dark, so I don't think we're missing out on anything. <laughs> no. So the next step, we have to take the Skyling across the airport because it's so big to Terminal D where the lounge is that we have access to. Our next flight doesn't take off for another, what, hang out like three hours? So we won't leave for Tokyo for like three more hours. So we're gonna kill some time in the Centurion Lounge. This is a very busy lounge, but we made it in. Trey went and grabbed food and there's a ton of drinks. Got me some fruits, I got me some meats. Everything was being refilled but the fruit. So I guess this is my sign to eat healthy. <laughs> You're not gonna fill up your Yeti cup with coffee? Seriously considered it, but I feel like the less coffee I have right now, considering it's midnight in Japan, the better. <laughs> okay, so I wanna give a background in case you travel to Japan. During COVID, they have this rule in Japan where you have to be fully vaccinated and at least have one booster. If not, then you have to take a negative COVID test within 72 hours of travel at the time of this recording, which is the end of December, 2022. Thankfully, we arrived pretty early and they immediately started calling for people to come up there and get their documents checked. So we just got our boarding passes printed and we have a little document, DFW docs okay stamp on both of our Boarding passes, so we should be good to go. I know there are a lot of like registration requirements documents that we had to fill out online, so that'll probably be checked when we get there. But we are cleared for takeoff, for boarding, and then takeoff whenever that happens. Hello. 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 Yeah. Thank, you. Awesome. Thank you. Hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I think we're in position. The so, seats are a little tighter, but we are in like the same kind of seat that we flew in Zurich uh, a couple weeks ago when we flew home from Zurich. Uh, we're in the uh, main cabin extra, but this is a little bit tighter than the United ones. So 
We'll see how this goes. This flight should be like 13 and a half hours, something like that. Maybe a little bit more, but longest flight of Hannah's life. Sorry about the delay. Can't do anything about that. I'll buy in, but uh, finally moving. I've been sitting here for like 45 minutes just at the gate. Bearing the bad news here, but uh, we've had a, uh, a message come off while our hydraulic property pressure is up, and uh, unfortunately, I can't, we can't take off with that. So, unfortunately, it looks like there's a hydraulics issue on the plane, which means that I think that we are all about to disembark the plane, and they don't know when we're going to take off. So, this could be a really, really long day. Still here. So it's kind of chaos on here right now. We are still on the plane. We were supposed to take off like two and a half hours ago, I think. A lot of people have connections through Japan on the way to Vietnam, <laughs> Thailand. But unfortunately, um, if you don't have three shots, so like the COVID vaccine rounds one and two, and then a booster, you're not allowed to enter Japan. A lot of people are having to get off of the plane and then rebook. Uh, through American Airlines, probably a flight tomorrow or the next day. Uh, we're all sitting here because we're heading to Japan, so if they fix the plane, then we'll be able to go to Tokyo. It, it really seems like just one flight can really disrupt the whole flow of planes going to and from Dallas to Tokyo and back, so we're kind of hoping for the best. I just feel bad for the people getting off the plane, honestly. Yeah, me there's, too. there's people that were really excited to go home, and they're not going home right now, so that's really sad. Look guys, in my opinion, the solution to this issue is they should just put us on a flight leaving soon for Honolulu. We'll do a night in Honolulu, we'll have a layover there. They can actually, they can lay us over in Honolulu a couple <laughs> nights if they need to. But I know that they have, you know, flights to and from those destinations non-stop. So, American, just send us to Honolulu for a couple nights. I'm okay with that. I can, I can work that into our schedule. This is not what we wanted, but it's what's happening. Trey was right. We're getting off the plane. Yeah, the plane's completely broken. It's out of service. So non serviceable. There's only one flight to Tokyo today, so. And it's not ours. Our flight was just moved to 6 p.m. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we came in here at like, what, early this morning and we're like, well. Since we now have quite a bit of time, we are getting some food and some coffee at the lounge that we were at this morning for breakfast. So, for lunch, there's salad, some quinoa, some mac and cheese, and some cooked carrots that look delicious. I'm not sure about the mac and cheese. Okay. Okay. Joy. Joy. This has definitely been a long day thus far. That's going to be oh so 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 much longer. But we weren't able to catch the second one. So. If we would have left on time, we would still have eight hours oh. left. <laughs> so yeah, it sucks that we've been delayed for seven hours. But at the same time. I feel fortunate. A lot of the people that were on our flight were going through Tokyo and they're all still so lined up in this line trying to get a new flight. I don't know. I'm trying to make the best of it. You ready? Yeah. I think it's time. I hope so. I'm not going to get too excited, but yeah. I think it's time. Mellow. We're mellow. We're joyous. We're chill. We're chill. We're good either way. Chill and joyous. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I couldn't be better. Good news. Yes. Good news. Plane number two. I Let's hope this one works a little bit better than plane number one. I hope so. Alright, we're on. I don't know if anyone loves this video more than I do. I love it. Okay. We will be landing at about um, 20 minutes after 10 o'clock p.m. local time uh, uh, tomorrow, and uh, the, that we'll do it the best to, you know, to make the best time we can to the gate. But right now, it looks like about 
of landing at about 20. We'll have you to the gate at about 30 minutes after, 30 minutes after 10 o'clock local time in, uh, in Nagarita, Japan. It is our pleasure having you aboard. We're glad you chose American Airlines. If there's anything we can do to make the flight more pleasant, just let one of us know. Thank you. filming a lot of that. Customs and passport control was easy breezy because we got right off the plane. Now we're rushing to see if we can potentially catch this bus. Don't know if it's possible. Two tickets, yes. Okay, yes, yeah, thank you. How are you doing, Jack? Oh my gosh, that was... I don't even know how long we're on this thing. It looks like a while. So we're getting off at Shin Kamagaya Station. So Shin Kamagaya, the next stop. This has been the most ridiculous travel day ever. We caught the Sky train, uh, but we weren't able to catch the second one. So I think we're just gonna have to Uber, which sucks because it's not cheap. First thing that I'm noticing about Japan, there are 7-Elevens everywhere, all over the place, which is a good thing, because Hannah loves them. 